Right then, so this is part two of the Doncaster Dome video game market. It's now Sunday afternoon and uh, I recovered a little bit. Very tired after yesterday. So this is going to be a um, bit of a pick up, stroke, gift, stroke, um, review, chat about the, uh, the overall event. So first up we'll go through the big box that you saw yesterday in part one. Now first up is Knuckles Knockout Special. Now this was a gift from uh, Dainster. <laughs> now then, all right. You're on YouTube. And I am as well, not crazy. But you'll come in here, you want it? I'll come back in about 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll pop a link below to his YouTube channel. It will be returning to YouTube shortly. We had a bit of a chat after the event once it had closed. And uh, it will be returning to YouTube. So um, he mentioned he had this a few months ago and I forgot all about it and uh, I think it's a bit of a one-off actually. I do remember having it back in the day but I must have sold it with my first slot of Sonic the Comics. But yeah, always nice to, to get that back into the collection. So cheers for that Dainster. Uh, a gift. Uh, a gift via Theme Park World from uh, Chris, one half of Team Chav. Cheers, Russ mate. Hope you enjoy the game. Again, I totally forgot. I told him that I wanted this, and when he pulled it out of his bag, I were, yeah, I couldn't remember. I think he, I think he saw that in my eyes. I, I couldn't remember. Must have had about two pints by then, so I were, I were on my way to being a bit giddy. Two full pints, though. Two full pints. Yeah, so that's Theme Park World for the PlayStation Two. Good game. Tetris DX for the Game Boy Color, boxed uh, with manual and the games downstairs, playing on my Game Boy Pocket. Um, you can play with the original Game Boy, it says there at the top. And this is a game I had back in the day, and uh, I think I bought it when I bought my Game Boy Color in 98. So yeah, really good Tetris, Tetris game. Big into my Tetris at the minute, been watching a lot of the Tetris World Championships on YouTube. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Okay, so I picked up a game. I've actually been to one of these retro game markets and I've bought myself a game. Now, I've bought this on the back of Scott's game reviews. He recently did a video on Resident Evil 7 and then he did a video on this, Resident Evil Survivor. And you can actually use this with a, a light gun. Now, I've not got a light gun my good friend Paul on the back wheel UK is going to lend me one. I've uh, played it this morning with the controller and it plays quite well actually with the controller. Um, I will be doing a, a live stream, hashtag GRS in the future. So yeah, a little bit cheesy but yeah, not bad to play actually, quite surprised. And um, what, what was that game I bought last year? I think it were Alien resurrection not alien trilogy yet i think it was the follow-up alien yeah it would have been alien resurrection and i just couldn't get along with that at all but this yeah i can i can actually play this so yeah we'll be featured in a future live stream i'll pop a link below to scott's original review as well gran turismo uh, gifted by gav the other half of team chav now gav was replayed replayed repaid in the bar afterwards Thank you, Russ. Enjoy the game, mate. Thanks for the pint. Although this is a cup of tea. One pint for this. Um, he's, he's had this for some time. And um, I didn't go to Leeds the other week. So, uh, yeah, finally got to meet up and get this off him. Gran Turismo. A game that I put many, many hours into in the past. And... I'm just happy to have back in the collection and it's, it's in really good nick. I mean, you don't really see many, well I don't, don't see that many black box editions. They all seem to be the platinum ones. But yeah, very happy to have that in the, uh, the old collection. Now, this next lot is it's basically magazines. Did a deal with uh, Laurie, shared a stall, had Nick Bazaar, was running, running it with Dave and Get these in shot, I keep forgetting. Uh, a bunch of Sonic the Comics, some really late ones, all nice tip top condition. So 
So I now need seven to complete my collection. And then we've got a bunch, a big bunch of magazines. Uh, these are all from Sega Mags. Yeah. Smile, you're on YouTube. Hey! <laughs> Uh, Matt, uh, pop a link below to his uh, his website. He's also after a few more uh, magazines for his collection. Is uh, is uh, Sega Quest. But always nice to meet up with Matt and have a chat. I won't go through every one. Uh, oh, Sega Magazine. I got that from, yeah, I got that from Laurie actually. I do have that, but for some reason I chopped the Sega out and I must have put it on my bedroom wall as a kid. So yeah, nice to get that back for 50p as well, so a bargain. So I picked up some late Games Master. I'm just collecting up to issue 50 of Games Master. Um, anything after that, it's a little bit too modern although I might collect a few more I don't know but the main bulk is a combination of me machines I don't know how many me machines I've bought but I bought a lot uh, no total totally right. I've bought probably four or five me machines and the rest were me machine Sega so I've more or less now got a full collection of me machine Sega I will be doing videos on these in the future. These will probably keep me going for two, three years, something like that. So yeah, expect to see some videos in the future on uh, Me Machines Sega, and probably some ones on Me Machines. I think there are 24 issues of Me Machines, and 53 or 57 issues of Me Machines Sega. Oh, I forgot about this. Quickly show you. So this is uh, a print of Mikey. I had this on the Mega Drive, and it's actually signed by uh, Bob Wakelin, um, the original artist, and Martin, I can't remember what his name, I'll read it, uh, the chap who did the sound for the game. So I'll get that framed. And uh, yeah, I've, I don't know, I've always liked that game for some reason. So there we go, a few pickups, mainly magazines, a few games, so watch out for a, a future GRS, and um, I'll play probably uh, the Resident Evil one, definitely play that, and since recording this, I cannot put down Tetris DX, I've gone through two sets of batteries for the Game Boy, fantastic game, and Gran Turismo, I was playing that the other night as well, so definitely play those in a future, future stream. So I'll just play back a bit of uh, normal speed footage because uh, I'm a bit lazy and I've got nothing else to, to show you really. But yeah, very long day, very busy day. Started around 10 to 7, got picked up from uh, my house uh, by uh, Paul C and Matt. And we got there for around, I think about 20 past 7, something like that. Uh, helped them set the stall up, saw up retro. And then Lee, retro game addict, arrived around 10 o'clock when it opened and we went straight to the bar uh, yeah gotta love the bar gotta love the social side because that's what I like about these markets the social side going there and meeting your friends and meeting other youtubers and all that and if you've not been to one before I highly recommend it um, I mean the actual market itself was really good really busy and um, probably peak time was around 11 to 12 and it did get quite warm in there. I know a few people have commented in their own videos. At one point, they did open the, the fire doors at the end, just to let a bit of a breeze through, which uh, were quite refreshing. But yeah, it can get a bit warm in there, but it, it's a big old hole, so it's not like the, uh, the Leeds market. Although I do like the Leeds market, because uh, I'm into my old buildings and all this, all that. This bloke here, very, very happy to be on YouTube. Well, so, on a whole, fantastic day out, it really was. Um, got plenty of magazines to read through in future upcoming videos on my channel. Like I said, 
get yourself along to one of these markets there's going to be another Doncaster one at the Dome in August I know that's just being announced so I'll, I'll pop a link below because I've not got the date to hand uh, but yeah really good day out um, I'll try I won't mention any names because I'm, I'm bound to forget but um, one person who I wasn't expecting to see was Simon Locke I spoke to him before and he said he couldn't make it and then me and Paul were walking across the car park towards McDonald's in the morning and uh, he was there and speaking of Simon this is a chap here he's got his, uh, his rucksack on Just spun round there we go We've got Paul C Matt Lee Simon there yeah really good day out um, even dragged my workmate along don't know if I mentioned that already um, and my other mate Paul Ellis on the back wheel UK do need to lend a light gun off Paul um, I was going to buy one but he's, he's got a couple of those um, those fancy recoil ones so I'll probably borrow one of those off him so yeah that were about it really really good day out and uh, yeah probably not much footage and probably not much more to say but um, ah, I'll see you in another video, probably a live stream playing some of these games that I've picked up. So thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later, see the run. Airport run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you okay? We're on YouTube. Alright. <laughs> well, you, you will be. <laughs> Excuse me, are you uh, Team Chad from YouTube? That is Team Chad from YouTube, yes. You're Gav. How are you doing? This is Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Chris. My name is uh, Jason. Jason, no, I thought you're that lad. I only ever seen top half of your head because you had shorts. That's right, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Little, little Russ. Don't know him. <laughs>